What's up, family and friends? How are you? Welcome to this live broadcast. And I want to share with us what I titled, Your pastor is lying to you. A pastor is a minister in charge of a, ch a Christian church or con Christian congregation. That pastor, regardless his title or his, or regardless his age or title or her age or her title, that your pastor is lying to you. Of course, you're supposed to know that Christianity is a lie itself. So whatever you build on a on a faulty foundation on falsehood is lie. Whatever your pastor is telling you, some of you you still have pastor, but you don't need a pastor over your life. You don't need to have any form of pastor. If you need a pastor, be the pastor you need. Your pastor is lying to you, especially in collecting your tithes through money. I mean, collecting your money through tight or tighten. So any pastor that is collecting tithes and offering, some of them don't collect tithes, right? But they collect offering. Some of them, you know, they don't collect, but they still lie to you. Because when they tell you about God, they call Jehovah or Yahweh or Jesus. They are lying to you because those gods doesn't exist. But they tell you to trust in that God. They tell you to believe that God. They tell you to hope that God will... will we bless you. They are lying to you. When they tell you God bless you, or oh, my God will bless you, my God will supply all your need according to the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. My God will do this, my God will do that. Thank God, praise God. All that they said and attach God, Jesus, Mary, or whatever they believe into it, they are lying to you. Your pastor is lying to you. If your pastor is collecting tight, I want you to challenge your pastor with uh, Deuteronomy chapter 14. Read it. You're supposed to be eating your tight. You and your family members. You're not supposed to give the pastor your tight. Okay? And you're supposed to invite your pastor to eat your tight with you. If he comes, then if he don't come, go ahead and eat it. It is your money. If you are the one that make that money, it belongs to you. Your money does not belong to God. The money you work for, the money you make, or the money you beg for, the money people give to you does not belong to God. It is your money. So why are you believing the lie that money belongs to God? Your Bible never say that God created money. You say God created what? Heaven and the earth. Man made money. God is not the owner of money. No. You say God is the owner of silver and gold. Money is not silver and gold. Man made money as a means of transaction. It has nothing to do with God's creation for you to say you are giving God back to back what he gave to you. God never gave you any money. You work to your employer pay you. Somebody that hired you paid you, not God. If God hire you and pay you, and that God demands you to give him some percentage of that money, don't you see that that God is also a, a crook? With this, if you are with what our Christian, African Christians are accusing Satan. So he says, Satan will ask you to bring something and they will take something back. But when you are giving, when you are paying that, what are you doing? You are paying back, right? Paying back to who? To God? The God you, you, you believe have all things. It is wrong to give to the rich. Even your Bible say that. It said that to give, he that give to the rich and he that rob, rob the poor. He said both of them we end, we are in poverty. And that's exactly what is happening. Both you and your pastor who is lying to you, both of you will end up in poverty. In other words, both of you will die without nothing. Of course. It's natural. So as your pastor, pastor, what happened to Deuteronomy chapter 14? Can we practice it today? You will see how he will throw all manner of scriptures against you to discourage you. And also, as your pastor, pastor, did Jesus collect of tithes and the offering after his ministration in the Bible? Ask your pastor that. And you see what your pastor will tell you. But your pastor will quote uh, Deuteron I mean, Matthew chapter 23, I think verse 23, telling you that Jesus said, uh, you know, you're supposed to pay tithe. He won't tell you the tithe. Jesus mentioned it. It's vegetables crops. It has nothing to do with money. Jesus himself, who's supposed to be your shepherd, who's supposed to be the foundation, the head of your church, never collected tithes. So ask your pastor, why the tithing? 
and you that continue paying after hearing people like me don't you see you are a stupid person to continue paying or giving your money to pastor and the pastor is wearing better clothes than you driving better cars than you living in a better house than you not having financial problem you are having and your money is one of the reasons he's living better can't you think all of you are supposed to be brethren according to matthew chapter 23 8 to 12. your pastor don't supposed to be above you your pastor supposed to be under you your pastor supposed to be your servant He's supposed to be a minister to you, not you ministering to him. Okay, ask your pastor, did Peter, since they believed Jesus gave to Peter the, king, the keys to the kingdom, did Peter anywhere collected tithes and offerings? Let him show you in the Bible where Peter collected tithes and offerings and how Peter used it. Ask your pastor that. Your pastor is lying to you and he's using the Bible to lie to you. You know why? Because Bible is a lie. That's why anyone can twist anything in the Bible and lie to you and you believe it. I am telling you this because I used to be a pastor. I used to collect tithes and offering and I used to pay tithes and offering. Of, of course, you know, tomorrow is Sunday now. Sunday is Sunday business. Sunday is a payday. You have to pay your pastor. And your pastor will smile to the bank on Monday. Then Monday to Saturday you will keep struggling, hustling and keep praying again for God to bless you so you can give tithe and offering. Why God is not blessing you? Read Malachi chapter 3 where they always used to qualify tithes and offering. Then before you read Malachi chapter 3 verse, uh, verse uh, 8 to, to 11, I want you to read Malachi chapter 2 verse 10. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the priest. Priests, not even pastors. Pastors are not Levites that Hebrew chapter 7 said God commanded to collect tithes. It has nothing to do with pastors, Levites. There is no even a living Levite today that is collecting tithes as the Bible commanded. Your pastor is lying to you. Whatever it is your pastor is teaching you, he's lying to you. Share this with your pastor. Invite your pastor, tell him to come and let me wash him. I will wash him before you. Because your pastor cannot answer any question that I will ask rationally. He will say, I am not spiritual. He will say, I am carnal. A carnal man cannot understand the things of God. But he forgot, I used to be a pastor. You cannot be spiritual today and be carnal tomorrow. If you are spiritual, you have to be But Because spirituality is nonsense. Spirituality, whether it's African spirituality or uh, religious spirituality, whatever it is, spirituality is nonsense. Spirituality is you trying to become what you are not. You are a spirit. You are not a spiritual being. You are a spirit. A, a male is God. A female is goddess. You are a spirit. Yes, you are. You are not, you are not born to worship any spirit. You are born a spirit, to live a spirit. Not to become a spirit. You are a spirit born that way. Your pastor is lying to you when he's telling you about heaven and hell. It does not exist. Ask your pastor, has he seen any of his relation, any of his Christian relation that died, went to heaven and come back and tell him about heaven? No. All they have to tell you is in the Bible. Outside the Bible, they have no clue of what they are talking about. That's why they will keep Bible, they will keep using the Bible to delude you, to deceive you, to rob you, to make you remain ignorant. But I don't want you to die ignorant. You have that time now to search. You say it don't matter, you will die. Okay, if you die in ignorant, when you go there, you will find out there's no heaven. You will come back to this world to continue to live as you're supposed to live as a woman. Yes, whether you die in error or not, you are coming back to this world. Whatever you sow in this life, you will reap in the next life. You die ignorant, you will get into this life and tell them, I died ignorant. Ignorant is not good. Ignorance is not good. Be wise. Your pastor is lying to you when he tells you that Jesus died for your sin. Your pastor is lying to you. And your life can prove that. You still commit sin, they say Jesus died for. They say Jesus has paid it all. Why are you paying anything at all if Jesus has paid it all? Ask yourself, is the sacrifice of Jesus not enough? Your pastor is lying to you. You don't supposed to be going to any church. You don't supposed to be going to any fellowship. If you must worship God, Jesus said, worship the Father what? In spirit and in truth, not in church or in temple, not in church or in fellowship. 
So a pastor is a minister in charge of a Christian church or Christian congregation. I am not a Christian. I don't have a pastor. And if you still say you have a pastor, know that your pastor is lying to you and you are buying into that lie. And you love that lie. What is the portion of the liars and everyone that lie in your Bible? He said their portion will be in the lake of fire. That's why uh, there's this message, uh, a message I've been saying I will, I will, I will speak on since, to, since yesterday. God cannot, God does not punish atheists, people that don't believe in God. God don't punish. God always punish the people that believe in God. That's all the ones, God, the God, whether you call them gods or one God, they only punish the people that believe in them or the people that believe in another God. But the people that don't believe in any God, they don't have sleepless nights. They don't have all those stupid religious dreams. No God can punish them because they are above God. God only punish ignorant people. And do you know the reason why you are still a Christian? Do you know the reason why you are still a Muslim? Do you know the reason why you're still a, you're still a Jew? Say you're worshipping a God because you are afraid and you are ignorant. Fear and ignorance is why you are going to church. Fear and ignorance is where you are, why you are paying tithes and offering. Fear and ignorance is why you are a Muslim. Fear and ignorance is why you are a Jew. But when you come to yourself, you will know you are a spirit. You are a God if you are a man. You are a goddess if you are a woman. And no God can do anything good or bad to you. It's time you wake up. I want you to know that your pastor is lying to you. Tell your pastor I say so. Quote me and invite him to come to me. If he insult me, I will insult him. But if he come as somebody that uh, wants to have discussion with me, of course, I'm available. I can only attack whoever attack me. I believe in fairness. I don't believe in forgiveness. I, I treat you the way you treat me. The way you come to me, that's the way I will handle you. I am not a Christian. I am an ex pastor i don't collect tithe i don't collect offering i'm not seeking for membership i'm not seeking for followership if you like you take what i'm saying if you like don't take it i have nothing to lose and i have nothing to gain if i want anything i work for it like a letter now i will go to work and make some money I came here, I work out because I needed it. And I'm the one that decided to do that. I don't need any God to prompt me. I don't need any God to direct me. I don't need any God to shepherd me. I am not a sheep. I am African. I'm a man. I am God. I'm a spirit. And I live humanly. I want you to wake up and stop patronizing pastors. Let them go and find something to do. Your pastor will keep lying to you because they know the day they tell you the truth that church will close down because you will stop coming there. The reason why your pastor is bragging his God is good is because of your presence and your presence. Your presence. You come there and your money, your present, the money you give to him and the material things you give. Some of you give your pastor your land, give your pastor your car, give your pastor your material things and paying their rent while you are, your, your relations are suffering. You have to wake up. First, take care of yourself and your family before you are thinking of anyone else. That is how life is supposed to be. Wake up and know that your pastor is lying to you. Any pastor that is preaching God or Jesus is lying to you. And you don't need a pastor in your life, in your family. If you need a savior in your life and in your family, you are that savior. Save yourself.